My name's Cam, and I rap and write music in the band Down With Webster, and you're checking out a teamview.com. Hi, I'm Victoria Justice, and you're watching... How did the band Down With Webster kind of come together? Uh, it actually came together a really long time ago. We all uh, met in junior high school. And it actually started as like a uh, junior high school kind of like talent show band. We did it for a project. And that was, I guess, 12 years ago. Now we're all 24. Okay. And so how did you come up with the name? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, I actually wasn't in the room when the name guy came up with. Uh, leave it to 12-year-olds to come up with the craziest, weirdest, nonsensical name possible. But it kind of stuck. And, and by the time it was like, hey, what, what does this name actually mean? Should, should it be called something else? It was too late and it already stuck and we were doing it. So what has been, like, one of the coolest reactions you've got to the band? We have, we have some insane reactions. We have a lot of really hardcore fans um, that they've are fans have done some insane stuff like I I showed up to a show the other day and someone had made like a doll of me and all the other guys in the band that's crazy like not like a creepy voodoo doll but like a weird like stuffed animal kind of doll thing <laughs> and it, it, it looks like it, it had taken them probably you know like, like like 24 hours to do all of them so what are some other like crazy fan gifts that you've gotten Oh, we, we've got everything. Uh, Cap in our band got, um, someone had had drawn and written an entire full-length comic book that, that revolved around him, and I don't know, I guess they made up a fictional story, but uh, it was absolutely insane. Like, it was really well drawn, and, like, they had taken a lot of time, so that was nuts. That's really cool. So, like, when you, I mean, you said you songwrite, so when you guys are, like, writing songs and stuff, what kind of, how does it yeah. work? Um, it kind of depends. It kind of d depends on the song. Like, we've had some songs that have literally been written on the spot with, with all of us in the room, and we've had some songs that one guy will write at home and then send in the, the rough idea, and then everyone sort of adds on to it. Um, yeah, and I think, like, a lot of the stuff that we write about is just sort of um, stuff that we go through and things that we, things, things, things that we experience or things that we would like to experience. Cool. So, like, along with that, um, what's, like, your favorite song that you've written that you get to perform? Um, right now, there's a song off our record called Woe Is Me that uh, I've always really liked. I thought it was one of the best songs we've written in terms of the subject matter and kind of, I like it. It's, it's well written. It's intelligent. And uh, we get to play it a lot. And it's actually our... It's actually the third single off our record that's out right now, and I'm really happy that it got it got put put out as a single because I didn't think it was going to. Okay, and you guys started out in Canada, so what's it like been moving over into like the U.S. and stuff? It's great, honestly. I find um, the, the 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 fans and the people in 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 Canada and the U.S. are uh, very similar, which is a good thing. Um. I don't really notice that much of a difference other than Canada's colder in the winter. So I'm glad I'm glad that we come down to the states and get a little bit of the uh, get a little bit of the sunshine. But um, no, like the states has been really great, and like actually my my parents live in the states, so I I, I spend uh, a, uh, a fair amount of time down there, and I really like it. Like people have been very receptive, and we've gone on some good tours, and we're about to go on a a really cool one, so uh, it should be fun. So what are you most looking forward to about the 303 tour? Um, well, first of all, 303 are really cool guys. Like, we got a chance to hang out with them a lot when we were on Warp Tour. Uh, and they're awesome. Like, it's, it's not like a thing where we're going in blind and we're just going out with, with a band that we don't know and we're going to have to get to know these people and live with them for, for, for 40 days. It's a thing where uh, well, we know that 303 are super solid and we've shown a lot before and our bands get along. So... I'm pumped on that. I'm glad to be going out with those 
with, with, with those two guys. I'm also pumped because I'm into their music and I like what they do. So it's going to be cool getting to perform with them every night. And, um, you know, I'm pumped. I think this show's going to be crazy. It's going to have, like, an insane amount of energy and, and just, I'm, I'm pumped about being in Bill. I think it's going to be awesome. Okay. And what city, before you go on tour, do you think is going to be the craziest? Oh, what city is going to be the craziest? Um, to, to, to tell you the truth, I have no idea because we're hitting some places that we've never been before. So I don't even I don't even know. I don't want to I, I, I don't want to underestimate any place that I haven't been. <laughs> but uh, uh, Las Vegas sounds like it's going to be fun. We, we have like a ton of people that, that are just on uh, not like fans, but friends and family that are just coming down to jam out in Vegas. So that should be a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. What are, like, some ways that you guys connect with your fans, like, through social networks and MySpace and Twitter and Facebook and all those fun things? Yeah, well, you mentioned a lot in there. We actually uh, stay very connected with our fans. We, uh, like, I personally spend a, uh, a big chunk of time every day just responding back to people who write us and trying to answer as many questions and talk to as many people as I can. Facebook's a big place for us. It's just Facebook backslash down with Webster. And um, that's where a lot of our responding to, to fans happens. Just, I'd say that's where we get the most comments, and that's where kind of everyone is. Um, also, Twitter. I, I just have a Twitter addiction, so I spend a lot of time on Twitter. <laughs> Me too. Uh, yeah, because I can do it from my BlackBerry, right? So I just, I'm always on it. What are some of your goals as a band, like where do you want to be maybe this time next year? This time next year, I would like to be doing the exact same thing I'm doing now, just bigger, better, more places. Like I'm really happy with how our career has been going. We've been, it's been going really, really, really well for us uh, up here in Canada. And um, I'm just hoping to now take that and spread it to, you know, the United States and Europe and wherever I can go. Okay. And what's one place that you guys haven't traveled to yet? Because, I mean, there's a lot of places. So what's one place that you really want to visit to play music and not just, like, visit, visit? I would really like to go play music in Japan. I've never been to Japan, period. Uh, I'd like to see it but I'd also just like to play music there. I've heard from a lot of people it's got a really crazy scene, and it's, just n it's nothing like playing in North America, so I think that would be really cool. Also, like, who are some artists that kind of inspire you, and what something that, like, an artist that maybe inspires you or you look up to has said about you that you think's cool? Um, I, I don't know. I kind of grew up on, um, like, I don't know, like, 90s hip-hop. Like, I'm a big hip-hop guy. I was always into that kind of stuff. So, um, I don't know, I think I was inspired by bands like, like, you know, Cypress Hill and Rage Against the Machine and, and Wu-Tang and, and then obviously I, I like other rappers too, like I play like Jay-Z and Eminem and I used to listen to like Green Day and Offspring when I was a kid, I think that always kind of inspired me too. Um, but one of my, my musical idols that I look up to, uh, is Timberland and he actually, said some really good stuff about our band and was nice enough to take us out on tour with, with him last year. So that was really cool. I saw that quote. That's a really cool quote to have. And, yeah, it was, it was really cool and and, uh, and very flattering and like I really respect him musically and it was, it was very cool. But uh, another person, not necessarily one of my musical idols, it was way before my time, but uh, Gene Simmons also somehow from, from Kiss came and found us and said a whole bunch of really nice, nice things on uh, radio and on TV about us, which was where, where, where it was cool because a lot of people look up to him and, 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 and are, are a big deal. So in terms of, of, of musical icons, he's pretty big, but I never really listened to, to, to his music. Yeah, that's really cool, though.